Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Veneer Electronic Wine Aerator unboxing and product review. Uh, this was a recent gift uh, for my birthday. I'm really excited to get it. I did act, in fact request it. Uh, I've currently been using a, a Venturi Wine Aerator, which is called a funnel or a, a tornado style air, aerator. Uh, and it works well. I use it for many of the red wines, not all of them that I do drink. Uh, in addition, the veneer also has a few other features like removing sediment. I admit that I, you know, really, sediment really isn't a problem with the wines I drink, uh, but hopefully in the future it will be. Uh, so I'm looking forward to using this device and let's go ahead and get it open here. Uh, so let's give it a little slice here. Let's see if we can't get it open. Right. Looks like uh, I didn't cut very hard, but okay, well, it's open there. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and Get the box open. If I can figure out how to do it. All right. Don't want to break anything. Oh, it's really tight. There we go. All right. So uh, what you see is what you got. We have the box here. It tells you it's push button narration. It's supposed to be really simple to use. Uh, and of course, we always like simple. Uh, it shows you on the side, you know, the actual shows the actual air bubbles in the aeration. I will say that uh, my Venturi wine aerator it does have some bubbles, but it definitely doesn't look uh, quite as aerated as that. And it shows you the put but push button, no way aeration. Uh, so here we go. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't drink a lot of tight wines uh, or a lot of wines that are off, but occasionally you will get a good bottle. Uh, you know that that's either tight or maybe a little off or has a you know a slightly off taste and aeration normally helps that sometimes you let it sit in the glass for 30 minutes or you know use the the venturi wine aerator and it will improve the taste not all red wines but many of them uh, so of course we like we always like improving anything that we already have uh, but this is one of those devices that's supposed to do it it looks very sleek like i said i was really happy to get this i requested it uh, so pulling it out here it looks like it has some stuff here this is the actual unit Go ahead and remove that here. Looks like we have a push button on top. It looks like it's uh, all stainless steel. Um, we definitely like that plastic ring right there. I wonder if that's removable for cleaning. Uh, and this is what you pull off. This is where you actually put the six batteries. And that's what, one thing I'm really excited about. The Venturi wine aerator is kind of a lot of work. You got to pour. Uh, I'm, I imagine if you watch my videos, you realize I'm not the smoothest guy in the world. So I have had a few spills. Uh, so we don't like that. Uh, but hopefully this is going to provide a really easy way to uh, both pour and aerate wine and uh, hopefully in the future when I have uh, some sediment wines that it actually, uh, you know, will fix that issue. Looks like it has a couple straws here and what this is, is that's actually going to slide right there and that's going to slide into the bottle uh, and that should fit most standard bottles. I wonder if it gives you two different sizes. Uh, no, it looks like they're the same size, uh, but it does give you, I guess one's a, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, but it definitely does give you a couple straws here, so we like that. Uh, it seems to be extremely well made. I mean, I do like the stainless, uh, and it's going to fit in a lot of different environments. It's of course it's going to look fine for my kitchen, but I think this is actually uh, you know good looking enough to uh, make it in fine dining or a nice restaurant uh, without fail. It definitely wouldn't look out of place. Uh, it definitely looks great with that stainless steel. Uh, we have the user manual here, and it comes with a cleaning guide. Uh, of course, I haven't looked at this, but I'm going to read it in full. It looks like it's in multiple languages there. Uh, we have a quick use and cleaning guide. Uh, it shows you how to clean it. And uh, I wonder what's left in here. Uh, and that looks like, that looks like it. Uh, so the next thing, the next step is going to go be I'm going to uh, go ahead and play with it myself, figure out how it works, and uh, we're actually going to do some decanting on a real bottle of wine. And uh, we're back. Of course, you can see I just have the box kind of sitting there. Of course, you know, that's what I do. So uh, I have my uh, wide body wine glass there and I have a bottle of this uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, and basically, you've already seen what you missed off camera. I didn't realize setup was going to be so easy to figure out. I thought I'd have to read instructions. Uh, basically, all I did was add six batteries uh, to the machine, uh, which were not included, I might add. Uh, and then plug this straw in. Of course, we saw that during the unboxing. I'd just like it to be noted, if you look at this, this actually fits uh, multiple bottles of wine. Uh, you can kind of here, I'll try to get it closer there. Uh, and you can actually see this plug here is actually made to fit quite a few different sizes. Uh, and it's actually good for spirit, both spirits and wine. Uh, and we'll get to the spirits. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and you can see the install is really easy. Basically, just slid it on there. 
And uh, of course, the thing about it is, whenever you're trying to, um, you know, aerate some wine, the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, actually taste it directly out of the bottle. Uh, and not all wines actually benefit from aeration, uh, especially white wines. Mo I, I assume most red wines, like I said, I'm not a pro here. I'm still learning as an amateur. Uh, but I do know that uh, my Venturi wine aerator makes almost no difference to white wines. Uh, and it does make a decent sized difference in almost all the red wines I've had, especially the Cabernet Sauvignon and the, uh, the Cabernet Francs I've had. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and taste that right out of the bottle. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show, can you see that there? You can kind of see how the wine looks there. I mean, it's just it's just your standard wine. It doesn't really have a lot to it. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely not a great wine, uh, but it's definitely a, it could be a daily drinker and it could be, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, it does kind of have a heavy, little, little heaviness uh, aftertaste that I don't like very much, but not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and push it. And you can actually, if you look at that stream right there, you can tell the difference in the color of wine. It's quite a bit lighter. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, that's, that's actually pretty impressive. Look at that, the layer of bubbles. Uh, on that wine there and look how much aeration just occurred in just those few seconds. Wow, that looks nothing like the wine that comes out of my Venturi aerator. Uh, I will definitely say that right away. I'm not trashing the Venturi wine aerator. I think I've always thought that was a solid product, uh, but it definitely doesn't leave that type of aeration. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Wow, that makes a big difference. Ah, you can still see the level of aeration there. I'm trying to hold it at an angle there. I mean, it's it's. Wow, that is a it all. It almost tastes like a totally different wine. I don't think that blindfolded, I would be able to tell those were the same wine at all. Yeah, wow, that's definitely impressive. Uh, I have to say, uh, that is definitely not what I expected to occur. Uh, so I expect it to be a good product, but wow, that's. And that is a really different palate change. Uh, so uh, I guess I'm done being impressed now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over and switch over. I'm going to clean out the, uh, the Venera wine aerator. And then we're going to see how it works out for spirits. As you can see here, I have my uh, OK whiskey. I'm not saying that's good whiskey. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not the bottom of the barrel. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing before. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Give it a little taste here directly from the bottle. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I've never actually had Sam Houston before. Uh, that's not a horrible whiskey. I'm actually I'm kind of impressed with the Sam Houston. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, definitely has a full, you can have, has an oaky flavor to it. I mean, a little bitter, but, you know, pretty much what you'd expect from a whiskey. Uh, now let's go ahead and check the aeration. Oh, wow, look at the stream that comes out. That is that is a lot lighter. Uh, you can tell. I'm going to go ahead and press the stream. Go ahead and pay attention to that stream there. Uh, you can see this, you know, this, uh, this copper or ochre color. Uh, and when I push that button, actually look how light and bubbly it's coming out of there. So, of course, the bubbles aren't staying in the hard alcohol like they did in the wine. Uh, but let's go ahead and give this a taste. Um, it tastes a little bit smoother. Uh, it's still not like the most awesome wine or whiskey I've ever had, but it definitely, let's go ahead and give it one more sip. I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. It definitely has a different flavor, uh, a really different flavor. Actually, I, I can't believe how much of a difference the aerator makes. Uh, in the case of this particular whiskey, I don't think it made the flavor a thousand times better. It definitely made it way different. Uh, so, like I said, not all spirits, not all wines benefit from aeration. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna chalk Sam Houston up to not making a huge different aeration, or as far as a huge improvement. It did make a huge difference. Uh, that is without a doubt. Um, so maybe I'd like to try some other whiskeys, and trust me, over the lifetime of, the, uh, of, the, of this aerator, I guess it's called a wine aerator, but it's really it can really aerate anything that you'd like to have aerated. And, I mean, a good scotch or a good whiskey, uh, you know, a lot of them benefit from aeration, too. Uh, I guess not Sam Houston very much, uh, but it really just comes down to personal preference. Uh, you might like the aerated Sam Houston better than the other. Uh, in my case, I guess, I would say they're about the same, they're just different. 
uh, but with the with the Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon, that made a huge difference. A difference I, I that's actually blowing my mind even still. Uh, so let's let me go ahead and grab the Cabernet Sauvignon, and we'll go ahead and set everything up, and then we'll go ahead and give this an ending. All right, we've reached near the end of my product review. This is pretty much where I summarize everything. I just have to say, wow, I'm really impressed with the, with this Venera Electronic Wine Aerator. I mean, it's really awesome. It made the hugest difference in this Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it definitely changed the palate of the whiskey. I don't necessarily think it improved it, but you know, hey, why don't you give me a shout out and let me know what you think uh, when you use it at home and let me know if you think it, you know, improved your whiskey. Uh, I am going to go ahead in the future, trust me, I'm going to try this out on as many whiskeys and as many red wines probably an embarrassing amount of red wine over the future, uh, but that's the way it is. I was just picking this box up and I just wanted to, we wanted to talk about the Red Dot Award. Um, it's something I haven't mentioned up until now, but I just have to say that the Red Dot Award actually carries a lot of weight. Um, uh, it's an international award based out of Germany. Uh, it's not something you can just buy or anything like that. You have to apply. There's a long process. Uh, you can actually check it out on the internet, check out the Red Dot Award, it's a very prestigious award. I actually believe this is the first product I've actually re reviewed that was a Red Dot Award winner. Uh, and it's the best of the best. Uh, so uh, you have to say, uh, if you've never heard of Red Dot, look it up, it's a very impressive reward uh, for a very impressive product. Um, like I said, I got this as a gift, I did specifically ask for it, it's kind of, I mean, it's something I really wanted, uh, you know, like I, I always thought my Venturi wine aerator was doing a good job, and I still think it does a good job. Uh, it's just the Venera does an excellent, mind-blowingly amazing job at aerating wine. I really can't believe it. To be perfectly honest, I don't even think I deserve it. Uh, this seems like it'd be something more for, uh, you know, a more of a wine aficionado and less of a rookie. Uh, so you can just see the level there. Uh, so like I said, really impressed. Uh, definitely takes a, an average Cabernet Sauvignon and improves it. Uh, definitely tastes like a much more expensive wine. You can just see uh, all those bubbles there. And the level of aeration is just uh, fantastic. So uh, I think I'm pretty sure anybody would be impressed by that. I mean, look at the level of aeration. I mean, I expect it to be good. I just didn't expect it to be mind-blowing amazing. Uh, and it definitely makes a huge difference on the palate of that. Definitely... It removes that bitter aftertaste I, I, I thought I had earlier, and I mean, man, what an improvement. Definitely two thumbs up from the Gadget Guide. I'm definitely impressed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any ever, and if you ever have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.